Sirtuins. What are they and how are they related to longevity? Find out in this quick guide. Sirtuins are a type of protein called an enzyme. Proteins can carry out many essential processes from giving structure to cells, making up muscle, signaling, carrying oxygen, even as the antibodies in our immune system. And sirtuins, well, they are enzymes that speed up chemical reactions in cells. Something that would take a very long time can happen almost instantly. There are seven sirtuins titled Cert 1 to 7. The name derives from Silent Information Regulator and among other tasks, they silence different genes. They are found in organisms from yeast to humans and they need nicotinamide, adenine, nucleotide or NAD for short to function. They remove acetyl and acyl groups from proteins to instruct them to protect cells from adversity, disease and death. They are also involved in a broad range of cellular pathways. Different certs have different roles that we are still only just finding out. For example, CERT1 helps protect and when upregulated can delay key aspects of aging. And CERT3, alongside their day jobs as it were, at times of particular need, they can be called away to help with repairing DNA breaks elsewhere. And every so often one fails to return to its correct place. This doesn't have to happen, but with time it builds up. Now, without sirtuins to spool the chromatin and silence the transposon DNA, the jumping genes will over time create genomic instability and epigenomic noise as these jumping genes seek to, well, jump to different locations. So how does it work? It seems that sirtuin modulates the organismal lifespan by interacting with several lifespan regulating signaling pathways. Sirtuin is an essential factor that delays cellular senescence and extends the organismal lifespan through the regulation of diverse cellular processes. However, with increasing age, NAD levels and sirtuin activity steadily decrease. This decline is made worse by both obesity and sedentary lifestyles. So why do they matter? It is now thought that these enzymes are intricately linked with longevity. You see, loss of sirtuin activity and NAD levels with age is implicated in the pathogenesis of a wide variety of cardiovascular and metabolic diseases and activation of sirtuins or NAD repletion induces angiogenesis, insulin sensitivity, and many other health benefits in a wide range of age-related cardiovascular and metabolic diseases. And we are just at the beginning of our journey. Fasting and exercise have both been seen to boost sirtuin and NAD levels, which is now thought to be one of the reasons lean diets and exercise have historically been known to be good for health and longevity. Resveratrol, a phytochemical rich in the skin of red grapes and wine, has been actively investigated to activate sirtuin activity with consequent beneficial effects on aging. For over 20 years, the sirtuin family has been actively investigated for its function in delaying cellular senescence and extending longevity. And it seems low NAD levels can exacerbate this issue and boosting NAD levels has shown in mice to have promising results. But numerous questions do still remain unresolved. The science is not yet complete and many of the roles are still unknown. But growing evidences do appear to be supporting the idea that sirtuin is an attractive anti-aging molecule involved in improving health through the target molecules participating in diverse biological processes. And but while CERT1 has been at the forefront of sirtuin research, functional insights regarding CERT2 to CERT7 are rapidly accumulating. There is now a large literature demonstrating that mammalian sirtuins suppress a variety of age-associated pathologies to promote health span. So, into the future. 
Human clinical trials testing agents that activate CERT1 or boost NAD levels are in progress and show promise in their ability to improve the health of cardiovascular and metabolic disease patients. There are still many questions that remain unanswered, however, and more research is still to be done. But with every study, we learn more and more. And as the popularity of staying at optimal fitness and health levels increases, this knowledge base can only seek to increase. Pharmacologic targeting of sirtuins, either directly with specific activators or indirectly with interventions to boost cellular NAD levels, now are being actively proposed as one means of treating or preventing age-associated disease. Will this become a policy of healthcare as governments seek to reduce the burden on their healthcare systems? What dosage is best? What frequency is most effective? These questions will be answered in the near future, and Sirtuin may provide one strand of an effective approach to extend lifespan and improve our quality of life. What do you think? Let us know your regime. I will add links to the description to articles I have referenced for you to read in further depth if you require. And why not try this if you haven't seen the video on autophagy already? And if you have, what about this one? Anyway, and see you soon.